Hey guys, Justin here from Ninja Game Tutorials, and today I'm making the second tutorial of my series to help beginners get around in the world. So, this tutorial will basically be a few extra builds from what I've done last time, and how to get some food to heal yourself if you're ever attacked by a creeper and you're down to a few hearts. You'll definitely want to know this. So, as you can see, it's daytime. Just wait out the night. Done a few minor improvements. So, let's see in my inventory. I have a few wooden planks. I'm going to go get some more wood. Because I have a few things with wood that I would like to show you. Just got to make sure there's no creepers. Ooh, there's a pig. Okay. Aw, oh, it's lagging. That's not good. Okay. So I can do this tutorial right now for the food. So here's a pig. This is pretty much right now the only animal that you can get food from. You might have thought that there would be food from a cow. But actually, they drop leather, which we will use to make armor, which I'll show you in a later edition. So, here we go. I'm going to wait for the leg to stop a little bit. Okay, just stalking the pig. Okay. Now it might take around three hits with a sword. Oh, I'm really lagging. Okay, there it goes. Hey, oh look at this, perfect. I got one pork chop. Now, as a raw pork chop, I think it heals either one and a half hearts or two hearts. Not 100% sure, but there's a way to make it heal more. And right now, I'll just show you that. Hmm. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, there it is, okay. In this tutorial, so I don't get lost, never find my home again, that happens to me sometime. It is not a nice thing, because you're checking, creeper comes along, blows you up, you're dead. You cannot put this here to make sure no creepers can come in. Okay, so right now, all you know how to use the furnace for is basically making torches. Or charcoal currently but now I'm going to make a cooked pork chop which will heal me four hearts okay so for this I'm gonna use another wooden plank because I'm not I don't have too much coal right now and the wooden plank will do so I've got my raw pork chop in the top as I did last episode well with wood instead of pork chop of course and then my fuel at the bottom so here comes out as a cooked pork chop. Unfortunately, there's no monsters out at here right now. But so I'm going to chop down a tree. But instead of using my hands this time, I'm going to show you how to craft an axe. Axes mmm way better than using your hands okay so I got my crafting table got some sticks I've got my wooden planks or cobblestone if you want so right now I don't have enough cobblestone so I'm just gonna use the sticks and basically you want to shape what item you're making so there's an axe okay so I'm just gonna replace that right there got my axe Okay, and I'm gonna go chop down this tree because I need this wood for my next demonstration. I actually have two items I think I'm gonna make here. Not really sure. Yeah, we're doing pretty good for time here. Okay. See how the axe chops it way faster than my hand. Really much more efficient. Okay. So. I think that will be enough wood for what I'm making. Then, 
as I said, I'm also going to show you Beacon, so I'm learning a lot today. Okay, so actually, I'm just going to patch this up because I'm scared something's going to come in here and blow my house up. Okay, so here we go. Got my wood. Need some more wooden planks. I'm just going to convert them all because I have enough gold for torches right now. I have 29 wooden planks. The first item I'm going to show you is a chest. In the chest, you can store your items, and you will not lose them if you die. So, very helpful. So, to make a chest, just kind of like a furnace, except with wooden planks, all the way around. Okay, so I've got my chest. And if you didn't watch my first tutorial, plop things down by right-clicking. Okay, so I've got my chest. Now I'm going to right-click it one more time. And I can store stuff in it. So, I can put stuff in it, and then if I die from anything, whatever's in here will be stored. But whatever's in here will be lost, unfortunately. Okay, so the next item I'm going to make you will make ease of access to your house easier. Instead of having to jump, you can use stairs. So, wooden stairs. Okay, so, to place down wooden stairs, it might be a little bit more complicated than other stuff. You've got to face the block where the top of your stair is going to be. So, I'm going to put it here. And here. So now, I can just go up instead of having to jump up. See, because if I didn't have these stairs here, I'll just knock this one down. Oh yeah, and by the way, if you knock a stair down, see how I, I had four stairs at the start, now I only have two? If you knock a stair down, you get a wooden plank back, so I wouldn't recommend, I would recommend trying to place, trying to think where you're going to place them before placing them. So right now, I'm moving forward, you can see, okay. But, if I move forward on the stairs, I go straight up. So that's going to be a nice improvement. Okay. So I've shown you the two things. Oh yeah, the beacon. So how much? Ooh. I'm going to go dig up some more dirt for my beacon. Okay, just knock this down. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to mine some dirt here. Okay, we'll just start here. If you want to, beacons don't need to be too, too tall for you to see them, depending on what method you use. In the later game, you can make lava beacons with lava flowing down them. Those are pretty cool. I like those, but for now, I'm going to use a torch on the top of my beacon. So, I have 23 dirt, get to 25, and that should be good. So, as you can see, it's kind of hard finding my way back to my house, because it's just, oh, oh, it's just a little cave right in there. So, to find my way back to my house when I go off venturing into caves and stuff like that, it's best to make this early so that you never get lost. I'm going to make a beacon. This is very important. So, first, just plop some bricks down there. Dirt bricks, cobblestone, nothing fancy. So, you're going to want to jump in place. Jump in place. And then, you're going to want to place two blocks there. Jump in place, jump in place. So, two blocks. And then two blocks there. Jump in place, jump in place. And then two blocks. And you can only do two blocks because see if I could do one, two. Yeah. Okay, there. That's three. I can't place a block there. And that's pretty necessary for getting back down. Or else I'll take. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take fall damage to show you what the pork chop can do. Okay, so, 
Maybe one more. Okay. So right now, I'm going to place my torch here. So that I can see it in the night. Okay, so I'm just going to fall off here. Boom. I took a damage. You see, that's your life right there. I took some more damage. Okay, so I've got my beacon made. Kind of nice. But I took some damage because I fell. Just say I fell. So to use the pork chop, cook, or raw, either way, you grab it into your hands, and then you right-click to eat it. See, my heart's just replenished, and I'm at full health. So in this tutorial, you've learned how to make a beacon, making stairs, making an axe. You've also learned how to make a chest. And get some food from the pigs so that's gonna be it thanks for watching be sure to comment rate and subscribe thanks for watching guys